so here let us look into the two phase PLDC motor it's working and it's data configuration so the simplest configuration is with four stators and one rotor with two poles so the rotor is the middle one that is the magnetic magnet or uh, the one that rotates so here it is a magnetic rotor uh, with arrow indicating the north pole and it's a two pole uh, rotor so north pole and south pole two poles are there and similarly for two phase BLDC motor uh, with this kind of a rotor two pole rotor we will need at least four stators this two comes like uh, because the four rotors are there that means two pairs like uh, opposite stators are connected together you can see this opposite stators are connected together and that is the uh, basic configuration now let us go into uh, how it is actually uh, working or what are the steps involved in working so let us assume that the rotor uh, uh, north pole is pointing towards the stator number one okay i will just name the stators in this manner so uh, it is easy to uh, indicate so our rotor uh, uh, the rotor's north pole is pointing towards data number one and my desired direction of rotation is anti-clockwise direction in that case so this rotor uh, the rotor pointing upwards should neck come towards uh, the stator number four to rotate in the anti-clockwise direction correct no it should come uh, the rotor should uh, have uh, this con should now become like this so for that i should uh, do what so that we can uh, make this part this data repelling uh, make this repel the north pole to make this data repel this north pole we need to make it north pole north north repels so this repelling nature we can make here and attracting nature we can give to the stator number four okay so we make it south north south attracts so that it comes to stage two where the rotor direction is pointed towards like this correct similarly the same logic uh, here you repel and attract then so that it becomes like this and again you repel and attract so that it moves this way and further becomes this way and then again you uh, repel and attract so you uh, by attracting um, it comes to the original position itself so the rotor would become like this which is nothing but the uh, same position that we saw in the uh, stage one so it just takes four steps or so four stages for the stator uh, to come to its original position uh, using this uh, two pole rotor and two phase BLDC so two phase two phase in the sense the phase one current is passing through this uh, stator number three and going to stator number one where it is grounded it can be otherwise also it can uh, go through stator number one and then go through uh, stator number uh, three it's any it can be any uh, way but have taken this way so similarly uh, here the second phase travels the current goes through the windings of the uh, stator number two and passes and goes and uh, goes to ground to the stator number four similarly the vice versa configuration can also be done so uh, here is a rotor okay any it would have been pointing out some direction uh, so this is the simplest working uh, configuration of the uh, two-phase BLDC motor and one more thing you might be wondering like uh, I have just pointed out uh, one set like this is north and uh, this uh, sorry uh, this is north and this is south so what would be the opposite this these polarity have not pointed out but it is obvious like uh, because stator number one and stator number uh, three uh, sorry stator number one and state uh, this is stator number three right so stator number one and stator number three are connected so this one and uh, three are connected together so this is north pole this will become south pole opposite so this this is south pole this becomes north pole opposite so in this way also uh, because if you put all the four in the configuration and check you you it will be more confusing to understand that's why i just wanted to uh, target all the main uh, things so other ones are automatic so automatically it will help our configuration only see so the total attraction force resultant attraction force is this much and the resultant repellent force is this much so this side is completely repelling this side is completely attracting uh, similarly here also this is becomes north this becomes south so you, you can see this 
space is fully repelling and this space is fully attracting so in that way uh, the resultant attraction repulsion forces are stronger uh, so uh, this this uh, concept will be applicable or this uh, attraction repulsion forces will be applicable for any kind of bldc motor with uh, uh, with this magnetic attraction repulsion concept that you can apply for two phase three phase or n number of uh, rotor poles so uh, thanks for watching this video if you have any further queries please post it in your comments thank you